happy friends welcome back to my channel this is marissa i have a fun fun and amazing share with you guys today you guys know i'm part of frank garcia's design team and i was given the new collection it's called twilight it is a continuation of pink christmas but with much more um, vintage vibes to it and i am in love you guys know i love halloween I don't know if you guys can see this acetate. It has the spider. Oh my gosh, the spider webs and the gold spiders. Oh, it is so yummy. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, but look at this paper collection. It is coming in a package with 12 sheets and you get um, six double-sided uh, sheets as well as, so it's two of each. And I just look at this. I am loving it. I don't know if you guys... Oh my gosh, all of this is just amazing. Okay, here's the first page and it has cut aparts. Look at these pumpkins were in the last collection of Luna, but look at this playing card. I love that and this spider. Oh my God, and this is a cover of a book, you guys. I am, My mind is going a million miles per hour. Okay, so this is the back side and it has the pink and the spider webs. The raven i love this oh my gosh all of it is just so good look at this vintage house there spooky and the raven with the little hat oh god <laughs> okay the next sheet you guys is this amazing like layout like you could just put a picture here which i think i'm going to pull out one of my daughter's pictures because she was like a little witch for her baby infant pictures because I think this is the cutest look at this layout here just the layering already done for us and it's got little flecks of gold oh my gosh look at this little witch sitting on the broom so cute I have the moon and the clouds and love her I got her out of graphic 45 but I love her I think more in this vintage tone more than purples Tell me that doesn't need to be cut out okay in the back sheet you guys look at this oh, i don't even want to touch it like i'm gonna order more of this because it is just so amazing look at this witch she's so pretty i mean she's funky looking but just i love it this one in the moon is that the moon it looks like it oh my god all of it you guys sorry i'm getting out of focus here i'm just I'm in love, absolutely. This is like pink done so well. Okay, now this is cut apart. So you can definitely cut up your pages. And look at these little witches. They're sipping on their tea, spilling the tea. <laughs> love this, look at this. This is so pretty. And this witch, oh my gosh, she's totally vintage, like 19. 20s 1930s oh i just love it look at this one oh my gosh you guys now the back side is just got pumpkins super cute love it okay the next one is just pumpkins all over and there's like pages in the back just can vaguely see them but it's got the little banners so cute and look at this strips how cool is this i got an idea for this already you guys it is so pretty okay and then this is the last no is this the second to last look at this another oh my gosh she's just so cute how adorable on her little broom with the cat look at this oh i love that more pumpkins this whole page is just I want to scrapbook a big 12 by 12 layout and then the back side look at this i love it the stars and the moon the music she back there the bats so pretty i just i love this collection it is absolutely gorgeous and then we have a full sheet of um three by four or three by four three by two cut aparts love this one look at her she's so cute <laughs> got another one with the happy halloween across it look at that book here oh i love this magical spell i think i'm going to create like another junk journal with the filings um manila envelope <gasps> look at this oh i love this stripes 
of all the colors the orange and the pink polka dot and the black with the music notes in there oh just you guys wait till you see the ephemera okay so it comes with these like moths and spider glittered spiders you get nine embellishments for i don't know the price yet but i'm probably gonna say 5.99 <laughs> And then these are Luna, but they sent them to me and I'm excited because I never purchased these. And they're pretty heavy. Love those. And then look at these new pumpkins. These were, or actually these are from Luna. I did not see these when I was at the Frank studio, but it looks like they, I know they brought back some Luna, so that those should be available. Check out the ephemera, you guys. Comes with all this, two of each, so you get tags some some of the images from the um cut apart you also have them as ephemera look at that little witch cauldron love it and you get the little witches and the pumpkin so it's looking so amazing okay and then you get puffy stickers oh my gosh look at these you guys super cute and then you have the chipboard stickers which i love this size i tend to pull off the layers just so that it's not as bulky i'm not someone that does super chunky um, layering, but oh god, I love this. I just, oh, look at that. She's in like a little pail or basket. Oh, I love it too. I love this. That is so cool. Okay, and then we have the flowers. These are the two that I believe match. Yeah, Twilight. They match the collection. Oh my gosh. You guys, wait till I share the Christmas. So the Christmas one. This is what they sent me. Look at these flowers, you guys. Aren't they so pretty? I just love the texture on the flowers. Look at these with the glitter, these poinsettias. Oh my gosh. And then this is the ephemera, and it comes with quite a bit, as you can see. Try to get it there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Super cute. Look at that. You got the tags, got the Santa, the bingo. Just super cute. Okay, now these are the papers. Tell me this isn't gorgeous. I think I'm gonna cut here and just use this scrap. <laughs> it is so pretty, look at this. This vintage 19, like 30s. Oh, I love it. And look at all these tags, oh my gosh. And the gingerbread with the peppermint hearts. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, let's jump in, let's put this. Look at this, oh, it's divine, divine just oh gosh how do you even cut this up like i don't even want to touch it it's so amazing look at the back oh the flowers and the pine trees the christmas trees love it so pretty this girl amazing love it look at this oh this girl's pretty Oh my goodness, you guys, this paper is gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this Santa with the pink hat. And it's got gold, like, stars in there, metallic gold stars. I love this. Let's see what the paper is. Ooh, this is nice background. Gorgeous. Oh, yes. Look at this. Cut aparts are just divine. How, how pretty love that that gingerbread is so cute look at this how cute is this this would be perfect on a tag oh this is gorgeous i just love look at this okay look at the back oh the polka dots and the hollies gorgeous gorgeous okay oh my goodness I think we're all going to need like a dozen of these because look at all the tags you can cut apart. Oh my gosh. There is a lot of them, you guys. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have 18 tags. That is such a great, look at this. Oh, and it's already like pre-embellished almost is what it feels like. So you could just add like a little flower here. Like you could take you know one of these flowers and just attach it there and then maybe add glitter all the way around and you're done how perfect oh my gosh 
I am definitely gonna do tags and the back side. How pretty! Look at the deer, the reindeer, the little sleigh. <gasps> Lovely. Uh, I think this is my favorite sheet because I'm just thinking of different ways. Oh, <laughs> look at this one. Oh my gosh, how cute. That gingerbread guy is so cute. I don't think that my phone is doing this justice. The colors are so, and it's got like gold metallic flecks in there. Little, look at the polka dot. It's got like this, it's like a green looking. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, look at these cut aparts. Oh, love. How cute are they? Their little Christmas clothing. Santa, pink Santa. I love the pink Santa. I can't get over that little gingerbread. It's so cute. Look at that sweet Rudolph. Oh, love that. Look at that snowman. He's definitely vintagey. So pretty. I love those skates. Just love that. And then the back. Oh, the stripes. Super cute. Okay, so that is a Christmas that I received. Stay tuned for some projects that I'll be sharing. Hello, crafty friends. Um, this is the second part of my video. I did share a walkthrough of the two paper collections that I got. Uh, by the time you see this, uh, some of the stuff has already been shared on Instagram, on Frank Garcia's and Prima Marketing um, on their sites. I have been dying to share these with you guys. Um, I am absolutely in love. This little project, oh my gosh, tell me this isn't the cutest paper line ever you guys have seen. Okay, so for this one, what I did was I took a, an ornament from the Dollar Tree that I purchased about a year or two ago. I bought a whole box of them um, when they were still a dollar because now you buy something in bulk and it's like 36 bucks, you know? which sucks but oh well and the reason why I did that was because a couple years ago I created this girl oh my god she's my absolute favorite um so far I mean I love this one but this witch just she's kind of old looking but she's not and she's pink and the you know it's just I love it I love it and the paper collection 31 was the first pink that and I just love it I to me pink is not Halloween right like that's just me I'm orange and black vintage so this was just fun to create and so i wanted to make another one i've kind of made one almost every year but this year i used the ornaments that i had and i just you know covered the well actually peeled the image that was on there and then i glued down the paper in the background and i did use the pink um spider web sheet that's um on the background right here and I love how it turned out. And then I added this big spider that I had in my um, die sets. Uh, then I just went and did a little bit of paper piecing. I did fussy cut the witch out and double layered her from one of the collect one of the sheets. This one right here. I did order more because I used up this sheet and I want to you know create something else with it. So of course I ordered more. And then I added the flowers. And then here are the little spiders that come. In the collection they're pretty they're like this iridescent pink and i did add some um white gesso with some glue so that the little balls they're these right here the um is it the finna um bear they're like the little art stones but i have had these for a few years because my friend gifted them to me um, and so I'm finally kind of slowly using them. I just don't have patience for stuff to dry is my problem. I like to just quick, quick make stuff and move along. And this kind of stuff, adding the mixed media, you have to wait for it to dry. You can use your um, heat gun, but I feel like, I don't know, for me, I want it to air dry. At least that's in my mind. But anyways, that's one of the projects. The other thing I did was I took the little tags that come in the... Uh, whatchamacallit ephemera kit and I made three fun tags with them I just fussy cut like the little cauldron I added the ephemera pieces themselves the chipboard here here um, over here I use the flowers I use some gold thread I fussy cut one of the pumpkins I added some of the little um, char uh, charms the little bling I just oh my god 
I love it. I love it. I added some um, of the paper punches that I cut out with the leftover scraps. I added more of that webbing that I found at Joann's. I just, oh my God, this collection. And look at this spider. The black spider is so cool. It's just all a pretty collection. Oh my gosh, I apologize. The gardener just showed up out of nowhere. Now this project here is a shadow box. I don't know if you guys, it's kind of hard to share, but I did all the sides with some of the paper and I used the acetate sheet that came with the collection and made it like a shadow box and this is the window. I didn't glue this down like super like hard. I used some glue dots so they're kind of shifting. I just didn't want the glue to be seen and I didn't want to glue it down um, with hot glue. But anyways, uh, the little charm does hangle. I hang not hangle oh my gosh I used a little I um let hook and just kind of drilled a hole in there and put it in there so it hangs uh and then I just did a hole embellishing down here I did find these little brooms in my stash so I added one there and I'm telling you this paper comes with the most beautiful cutouts like this little witch like her you know the cutout like that could even be a cover for a book so that's probably gonna be one of my next projects is to use her as a cover of my book. I do have one more big project um, that I created, but I'm not sharing it because um, I'm waiting for Frank and his team to post it first. It is probably my absolute favorite. The Shadow Box is my, probably my second favorite, but the I created an album and it is my absolute favorite right now. Okay, the next couple projects I'm gonna share are this wooden plaque that I created using the Christmas Market Collection. And these are five inch wooden circles that I purchased off of a TikTok shop. And I have a bundle of like 25. <laughs> and I've just slowly been using them. But I did distress the paper when I put it down. And I was gonna use some gesso and some more of the little, um, little stones, but I just decided to keep it like this because I'm actually going to make this an ornament and hang it in my tree because I have a Santa tree that I put up each year with nothing but Santa ornaments. And so I think this will be so pretty to put on there. And I just, this is the big flower from the collection. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. I ordered more of those because they're so pretty. I love them and they have another set too that i really really liked and then the other thing i'm going to share is this ornament now i've had these big jumbo ornaments for a long time i can't remember where i picked them up i want to say it was at michael's um i think they have them and i have like an ornament shape a circular shape a heart shape and then the tree shape and i've made a few ornaments here and there but i thought this collection is just perfect for this metallic you know tree and I just embellished it with a lot of the paper the flowers like here's another one of that big one I just love it and this girl she is so pretty I didn't do a lot to her because I didn't want to warp her because I feel anytime I add something to it it kind of warps the paper so I kind of left her as is but maybe down the line I will add something extra to her I don't know I just I love the way she looks and the flowers are probably just my favorite like they're so pretty and this paper you guys it is so vintage shabby chic I love it love it love it so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys head over to the shop and pick up this collection and use my discount code pink810 get 10% off and thank you guys so so much for watching and come back for some more projects that I'll be sharing soon bye